welcome back to all the council members. I'm thrilled uh, to be back. I, I, hope, I hope you had a great uh, month off of August. So um, I sure missed you, Mr. Roche. I miss you as well, Mr. <laughs> Dickerson. <laughs> First item we have is the invocation and the Pledge of Allegiance by the Honorable Jim Manning. Stand, please. Pray with me, if you will. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you that you've given us a break and a respite. Now we pray that you be with us as we come back for the liberation of the county business for the good of all citizens and for those who work and play in our county. Give us guidance, give us your wisdom, and that all that's said and done will be honoring and pleasing to you. We pray these things in your name. Amen. 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 I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Manning. Next item we have is the approval of the minutes. Uh, special call meeting, July 28th, 2015. Chair, entertain a motion. I move, Mr. Chair. Second. That a motion has been properly seconded. Any discussion? All in favor of that motion, signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? <coughs> that motion carries. Next item we have the zoning public hearing, July 28th, 2015. Chair, entertain a motion. Move approval. Second. I got a motion for approval. It's been properly seconded. Any discussion? All in favor of that motion, signify by saying aye. Aye. Any opposed? That motion carries. Next, we have the adoption of the agenda. Any changes? No changes, Mr. Chairman. Okay, Mr. Malinowski. Yeah, thank you, Mr. Chair. And I don't know if there's a new format we're following, but uh, normally we have a, a page that attaches with all of these agenda items that tells us if there's a uh, been a previous reading first or second reading or a committee report and it tells us the date of it and what transpired and we also have in front of each item that we start with all the different uh, administrations and, and people in charge of an item and what their recommendation is and we don't have any of that in front of us this time so I don't know how we or the public could be expected to know what comments are, are being made by staff members. <clears throat> We could go to page 127 for the Curtis Wright hangar. Uh, that is what we normally have in front of us, 127, 28, and 29. And we don't have that in front of any other item tonight. And if you look at that one, that's, I'll, I'll talk about that when we get to it. But any explanation why we don't have a complete agenda? Um, well, this is our new agenda software, but we'll address that with IT to have that updated um, because those are comments that should have been carried over. So we'll make sure we get that addressed. With Thank them. you. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Mr. Thank you, Mr. Malinowski. Any changes, Mr. McDonald, to the agenda? No changes. Okay. Mr. Chair, entertain a motion. We approve the agenda is distributed. Second. Uh, okay, I got a motion. It's been properly second. Any discussion? All in favor of that motion, signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? That motion carries. <coughs> Yep. May I have a point of personal privilege? Mr. Rose. Thank you. I want to recognize um, Greg Grant. He's a high school senior. He's here as part of a class assignment. He's in the back, and I just wanted to recognize him. He's here to see uh, Richland County government at work. Welcome, Mr. Grant. I hope you enjoy the meeting. Hopefully it'll be short. All right. Next, we have citizens input for items uh, on the agenda not requiring a public hearing. We have. Good grief. <coughs> We, we, we must have been anticipating a lot of people being here. There are okay. like five sheets, but all right, with one person. Okay. We have one citizen signed up to speak, Miss Helen Bradley. You, no, ma'am. You. Is this? Uh, uh, is there a particular item you want to speak to, ma'am? Okay. Okay. Good evening. I'm Helen Taylor Bradley. I reside at 1916 Martin Luther King Boulevard, Hopkins, South Carolina. I'm coming again today on behalf of the Hopkins Lawrence Citizens United. Um, just wanting to remind you that over 1,500 people signed a petition against the Lawrence Sewer Project, and we're still asking that you scrap the project. 
Thank you. All right. Thank you, Ms. Bradley. Ms. What's your last name again, Ms. Ms. Sumter? Okay, Margaret Sumter. Yeah. You said this item is not on the agenda? Okay. No, this is for items on the agenda not requiring a public hearing. So we can we can sign you up for the next citizen's input, which will be later in the meeting, if that's okay. All right. Next we'll have reporter of the attorney for executive session, Mr. Smith. Mr. Chairman and members of council, um, we have items 8A, that's the county 208 plan proposed amendment. That's a contractual matter. Item 8B, Pell Matter Health, uh, that's a contractual matter. Sellers versus Richmond County, that's pending litigation. Item 8D, threatened litigation. Uh, reference student housing and item 8E sale of the Curtis Wright hangar. <coughs> Mr. Chairman, members of council, we have um, uh, pursuant to your rules, we have uh, outside council on two of these items, okay. items 8A and 8D. Okay, based on uh, council rules, when we have outside council, we take those uh, issues up in executive session at the beginning of the meeting um, in order to allow, uh, to save Maybe. dollars and uh, uh, so, so those attorneys wouldn't have to wait their entire meeting, so. Um. Mr. Chair, I make a motion that we go into executive session to discuss those items, both items that the attorney just outlined. Is. Okay, that's 8A and 8B. It, that's the motion on the table. It's been properly seconded. Any discussion? All in favor of that motion, signify by saying aye. aye. Any opposed? We're in executive session.